Alright, so now in this video, we're going to take a look at this screw terminal block here. So a lot of electronics books that I have, they say that you can't plug the 9-volt uh, battery or the battery packs where you got batteries in series, 1.5-volt batteries, into the uh, breadboard because this is stranded wires. This is a bunch of individual wires. I normally just twist them together and then... Uh, try to insert them but uh, the wire is not stiff as you can see I got little strands that are uh, poking out already this gets a little weaker every time you use it it doesn't fit in there terribly good so I have been plugging the wires directly into there though this is attached to a battery as you can see here the right sides over there I got them separated so they don't short circuit always be aware to uh, keep those wires apart so we have this screw terminal here and it plugs into the breadboard and then to these two rolls and that's where we will put the wire we'll look at that coming up up here is the uh, screws so you unscrew them so they come up and uh, so in any case this is in the board pretty pretty tough we're gonna set it over here this side's just blank and they don't go right into the breadboard near as easy as these if you just hold pressure on them for a while kind of wiggle them a little bit finally it will go in so now to use it it's pretty easy so this side is going to be more positive and the screw bits kind of important they really clamp these down when I got them so this one's kind of blunt it's not a very sharp Phillips and it fits uh, pretty pretty good when I tried uh, one with the Phillips a little bit thinner it didn't really grip near as well and now so we're gonna have this side be the more positive and all we gotta do is uh, put it in that opening right there really simple and try uh, I could have these a uh, little bit shorter the uh, bare wire because there's a little bit of a risk of short circuit and then we just screw it down and there we go we have a nice strong connection there it just closed down on there and so now I already inserted the black wire same procedure so I figured I would save time and not show it all I did have to unscrew this all the way to the top it was down a bit lower so if it's not going in very easy make sure that's all the way to the top and again once we start tightening it it's a little tough on the board notice I kept space between the wires as I said before there's loose strands here we don't want to short circuit anything else out by uh, connecting positive directly to negative and so now we have power to the breadboard there and this is a 9 volt rechargeable battery it actually outputs closer to 8 volts about 8.5 when it's fully charged since it's a little bit of an ordeal to uh, screw these down and stuff instead of re removing the uh, battery snap probably better just to remove the uh, battery when you're done and just leave the uh, wires hanging like that till you're ready to change it so I would like to just put these directly to the rail but as you can see it's spaced for having a slot in between and so there's uh, no way to uh, wire that up there so you gotta wire it under one of the uh, rows a couple of the rows I should say and then use jumpers to uh, get it to the rail and I got these in a kit where I got these uh, PCB boards and uh, these uh, other connectors and so if you're interested in these probably cheapest option is to get it in a kit with some other stuff that you want where they include it and also if you want to power the other rail with the same power source you can just use jumpers positive to positive and negative to negative so plugging something into this positive rail will be just like plugging something into that positive rail and of course 
plugging something into the negative rail will be just like plugging it into this negative rail.